Now, this video is going to be fairly short. I'm just going to quickly go over how you can get full marks on a four mark question. Um, we're going to talk about what you should look for and how to go about answering them. There isn't much to these questions, you just need to follow a certain structure and then you should be good. Okay, so look at the question on the screen. It says, explain the role of two pieces of legislation in keeping users' data secure. The box of information they give you, you need to read that because they'll give you information about the company and what kind of information they're coming across. So let's say it's a finance company. Security is important because they're handling personal information about their customers. Even in this question, you can see that they're talking about an e-commerce business. So they might be handling um, credit card information. You can use this in your explanation. That's why it's important to read it. Um, the main part you should be focusing on here is explain. When you're answering explain questions, have a point and then the explanation. So the point would be one piece of legislation and then in the next sentence explain how it keeps the user's data secure, right? Now the question is about legislation. So you should know about the different legislation that comes in when you're talking about keeping a user's data secure. If you don't, I'll leave some pictures up at the end of the video. Um, you can use that to revise last minute I guess. So I'll put an example answer on the screen right now. Um, just take about 30 seconds to read it quickly. You can see the structure that the student has used. So the first point he's given is the Computer Misuse Act and then he's explained it by saying by saying that it makes it illegal for people to gain unauthorised access to systems and data. And then the next point is the Data Protection Act and then the explanation is uh, it makes it a legal requirement for businesses to keep user data secure, accurate and up to date. These questions are fairly easy as long as you know the topic. So the questions about security and legislation as long as you know the legislation and how it's used to keep data secure, you'll be good, you'll be fine. So I'll have an example question on the screen now. Um, so I'll explain two different factors that must be considered when choosing IT systems in the workplace. Think about the structure and considerations when choosing IT systems, especially in a business or a workplace. There's information at the bottom screen to help you answer the question but try doing it on your own honestly see what you can come up with if you can't do it then use the information all right i'll leave you as that for this video there'll be some information on the screen about legislation to help you advise for the first question and that's it for today bye bye